Fresh Gang, what's up my Grubhub Gang, this is your boy Kingfish, aka Big Al, coming at you with another video, what it do, what it do family, going to Wally World this morning, got a $10 order, got wifey with me this morning, you know I don't record when she's in the car, so I'll be coming back to y'all in a few minutes, but y'all know what the day is, the day is I don't give a damn Saturday, <laughs> she told me I'm going to Walmart with you this morning, I said I don't give a damn if you're going to Walmart or not, you better bring it on, and she still ain't ready. All right, family, I'll see y'all in a few minutes. All right, family, we up here at Walmart. Just dropped the wifey off to pick up some things. Boy, I said, Wally World, she jumped up. I'm going. All right, TV, Christmas, baby. All right, we got 76 items, man. I hope they live in a house because they live in an apartment. I'm going to, they're going to get my, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to say, hell no, and I'm going to say, I don't give a damn. And all that, I might do some throwback, too. <laughs> They're gonna get all my sand. All right, family. Today we're supposed to be going to get some shirts made. Today I got to go up there and finalize the um the order and whatnot. So we'll see how that go. Why why this plan? I'm gonna go ahead and get myself set myself up. I got 75 items. <clears throat> be back, family. I gotta get my bags out. Try not to say the people name this time if I go to a gated community. Normally I use my front seat, but I can't use the front seat because the wifey here. It's killing me, man. It's funny, as soon as I got here, like six, seven people showed up. So I gotta make sure I'm next in line, player. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy Saturday to everybody. I appreciate everybody that's watching the channel. If you watch the videos every day, guys, thank you for taking the trip with me. Hold on. She look like she coming with mine. Come on, thank you for taking this ride with me every day. It's funny because you get to see me get old. I don't get to see you get old. <laughs> yeah. That's funny though, man. But I thank every one of you guys. I, I really am. I'm very blessed and honored to have the audience that I have. Like I said, guys, 2019, we getting all we supposed to get. I told the woman, um, last night we went out to eat, I told the woman, less ice, you know. So she came back, she had like a whole cup full of ice. I said, baby girl, this is 2019. I'm gonna get what I paid for. Can you please take this back and give me less ice? This heifer came back with two ice cubes. So I said, okay, you wanna play those type of games? All right. So the old lady, she was getting upset. I said, ain't no need to go get upset. 
Alex, you want to play this type of game? Okay. Two ice cubes equal two dollars. So we ate good, you know. You know. Came down to the tip. You know, I could tell the girl had a she cause she she not only I, I think she started off wrong because the table right beside us uh, had a problem with her. I think she just was in maybe it was a man thing or what, I don't know. But I think she had a bad attitude and whatnot, because she was she was treating the customers well. Woman said, uh, can I get some um, water? She said, you're going to have to wait. I got two tables before you. You didn't have to say that, baby girl. All you had to do is say, sure, give me one second. So I left her $2 and whatnot. She was hot. I heard her when we were leaving. She was like, that's it? I said, two ice cubes equal $2, player. You want to play game? You know, I know you're working hard, baby girl, and I hate the fact that you, uh, you know, that you're in a bad mood, but you can't treat people like that, Inspector Big Tip. I mean, less ice is not too, too ice cube. I just like enjoying my, my, my drink, you know. I don't want to, you know, because it wasn't like you you order a drink and then you, you get the next one free, you know. You pay for one drink, that's all you get. wife and said, give her more. I'm like, I'm not giving her more. It's, it's all about customer service. So we gave her a dollar per person. I know it's wrong, family. You might not agree with me, but customer service is huge with me since I'm, I'm in the customer service business. I normally leave five, ten dollars or, or more. I normally do whatever the percentage of the bill is, and then I give her more. But she lost out on a seven dollar tip. So she lost five dollars. If you would take what we paid for Divided by what they supposed to get, she supposed to got seven dollars. But since she was mean and nasty, didn't come back and not, not, not one time did she come back and say, uh, "Can I get you something else to drink?" or "Was the food good?" or this and that. I just think that she came to work with the wrong attitude. I don't know who's gonna come first, my order or my wife. I ain't never seen that woman move that fast, God. She looked at the phone. She was like, Wally World. Eyes got all big. I was like, oh, I don't give a damn. You're not going. She said, oh, I'm going to Wally World. I said, I don't give a damn if you're going or not. You better get ready. Let's go. All right, guys. They're making me late. I hope I'm going to the house. She got 75 pieces. 75. I, I messed up, guys. I didn't get up and got. I don't have an order for Tuesday. I don't have um, a schedule for Tuesday, so I'm gonna do Postmate or Grubhub on Tuesday. Tell you, man, we got so many people in Tampa. Let me cut my call. We got so many people in Tampa, man. If you don't, um, if you don't get your schedule, man, you might not get one. Only thing that I see for South Tampa, Tampa Terrace, and North Tampa is 12 a.m. to 12.30. Who the hell? And North Tampa got 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. What the hell stand open till 3 a.m.? <laughs> I don't know. But I know. I know they better come on here. God, man. I don't mind doing big orders. I just don't like big orders with a lot of water and cat litter. And it's funny, guys. I was talking to this woman, and she had uh, she had all this stuff, man. And she had cat litter. Then she got to say when I leave her. Only thing I got to go pick up now is just some personal stuff. I was like, I guess so. I done broke my back. <laughs> Talk with T. Let me find out you know some people in Flag House Projects, man. Ask your people if they, they remember uh, the 26th building. Those names sound familiar, but, you know, we're talking about in 1980 80 to 1990, you know. All right, fam, I'm going to put y'all hold for a second. Yeah, hey guys, Big Rick up here. He turned down a couple of orders. That's probably why I got this big one. Calling the wife. She needs to 
All right, you about ready? All right, big Rick here. He got 22, 22 pieces. All right, all right. All right, love you. Bye-bye. Yeah, you the reason why I got this big order. No, no, I, told, I turned down South Tampa. <laughs> oh, you had South Tampa? Oh, they had, Hillsborough? They had one on South, yeah, Hillsborough, twice. There was one for 54 items, and one, well, 58 items, and one for 45 items. Wow. I said, hell no, I was up on Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and then I got this one up here, 11 bucks for 22 items. I said, yeah, I'll do that one. Man, you got me, man. This is 10 something, but it's, see? Oh, you see what I did? Yesterday? 76 items, man. Holy shit. Yeah. Did you see what I did yesterday with no DoorDash at all? Yeah. That was pretty good. good. That was pretty good. That's what I was saying. I got a call from uh, Postmates around uh, 7 o'clock last night. 10 18. $10.18. I got a call from Postmates. Uh -huh. They said, do you remember a 7 Eleven trip you did back on December the 13th? I was saying, December the 13th. Yeah, we in January. January. Remember that? And, and she, they said, well, the 7 Eleven was wondering if you ever dropped off. And I'm thinking, you know, there's only one that fits that profile. The guy that uh, ordered at 3 30 in the morning, uh -huh. when I got there at 6 in the morning, they said he had canceled three hours ago. Oh. And I, I said, well, I just got the call and they gave it to me. And uh, when I was on the way there, the guy called me uh -huh. and said, uh, I'll meet you here and there. You know, uh -huh. And uh, I figured, well, obviously he still wants it. <laughs> so I told him that and I said, yeah, that matches because the order came in at 3 o'clock in the morning and so, so he delivered it at 6 something. Yeah. So he did get it. So what, what would they call? Because uh, the 7-Eleven called oh, oh, oh. I was wondering if I ever delivered it. Yeah. Did they call you a month later? Yeah. All right, let me go pick up the wifey, man. I see you around. You know I got to go get that coffee, man. <laughs> I got to wake these eyes up. Yeah, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> yeah. All right, man, have fun with your 22 pieces. All right, uh, hey, I don't wish no bad luck on you, but it's a house or apartment. Huh? It's a house or apartment. I, I hope it's an apartment. <laughs> hey, I, I always want the best for you, man. Hey, I know, me too, Rick. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. All right, now, I got 75 pieces, right? $10.18. Big Rick got 22 pieces, $11. I right, got here's the wifey. See you in a minute. I'm back, family. I ended up doing another Chick fil A order and a Perkins order where I had wifey with me. Uh, the Walmart order was pretty good. Uh, I had 75 items. I did have help from the wife. I mean, the. Um, the woman, husband, and son. So it made it a good order. No steps. Thank God. And it was two seventy-five items. It wasn't like she had cat food and dog food. Oh, she had seventy-five items. So we had twenty-two dollars and seventy-four cents. I started at eight um, seven thirty. So I made $22.74. And, and, um, I did three orders and only worked 45 minutes. And only went uh, 18 miles. No, 22 miles. I'm sorry. I went 22 miles to and from. So 22 miles, $22. So I averaged a dollar a mile. But I haven't even worked an hour yet. Even though I've been on the clock since 7.30, I haven't even worked an hour yet. So I, I still consider that good money. We'll put some hand in the tie real quick. Pick wifey up. Once again, guys, I'm ordering, uh, I'm placing my order for the shirts today. Uh, it takes a week. So a week from the day, I should have my first set of shirts. Uh, it's gonna be Hell No Thursday and Thankful Tuesday. It's gonna be the two sets that I get back first. So guys, if you wanna place an order, it's, um, it's twenty dollars a shirt, two for um, thirty-five, three for fifty. So once again, it's twenty dollars a shirt. It's um, two for um, thirty-five and three for fifty. 
good quality shirts. Um, you will see mine first. I just need to know ahead of time if you need, because I only have small, extra large. I have small, large, extra large, and 2X. If you need anything over 2X, please let me know in the comment and which shirt that you want, and I'll make sure that you get it. They're going to be gray. Uh, they're going to be gray. The first set is going to be gray. It's going to be different colors, though. But it's the first set of shirts going to be gray. So if y'all ain't doing nothing, on well, hell no Thursday, I want to see them shirts. I'm going to give y'all, y'all can um, upload it to my Facebook page, or you can send it to me in email. email. I want to uh, upload your pictures, show the support, so I can put a face with a name. Or put you on YouTube wearing a shirt. You know, it's all family. Help build this channel, you know. I feel like we're doing positive things out here, making that money, doing it the right way. Tonight podcast is going to be at 9.30. We're going to be talking about your favorite year. What was your favorite year and why? The year that you had the most fun, you learned the most out of life, and you know why why that year was all that and then some. I ain't gonna give y'all my favorite year. Not yet. I give it to you tonight. I'm gonna be playing music from that year. Let's talk about it, fam. Hopefully, I had this video uploaded soon. <laughs> Riding with the wifey, man. Like, she, you know, we talk about different things. And I'm not a disrespectful type of guy. I can record while she's here. But my, 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 my attention is going to be on you guys, not going to be on her. So if she asks me a question, she says something, I'm like, I might not hear. And you know, you ladies, y'all want us to hear you guys. So I become a better listener this year. I listen before I say anything. I process it and then I speak. And sometimes guys, I listen to my wife. I don't even need to speak. I just need to listen. So I'm trying to be a better communicator this year. You know, Be more understanding. I'm not saying I wasn't understanding in 2018. I don't think I was a better listener. I try to fix things that didn't need to be fixed. All I need to do is listen. We talked about that at the podcast. So I think Trina brought that up. Somebody brought that up. But whoever the hell brought it up, thank you for bringing that up. Did y'all see the gas prices drop down in Tampa? It's one ninety three. Hello. And if you got five percent off on uh, five cent off on um, what is it? Oh God, I can't think of the name of it right now. Oh man. If you got a five cent off card, then you get your gas to be, um, what is it, 93, 88, 188, guys, 188. I wish Big Bertha was 188. Big Bertha is 203, but still, you know, because I use the premium. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm back, family. I just got some air in the time. Like I said, I'm about to get to go play some water for the shirts. Uh, I'll let you know if I'm going to do I don't give a damn Saturday uh, yet. Uh, but hell no Thursday. I had already put in for those. I just have to approve them. And, uh, you know, thank for Tuesday. Scott Billo Day. So once again, guys, I want to thank everybody that joined the channel. I want to thank everybody that uh, been with me from day one. Uh, like I said, this year we plan on doing some big things. Uh, I'm going to make my family a part of a lot of great things that I got planned. Uh, I can't, I got, there's a lot of stuff I got to pray on first, so I don't want to speak it yet. I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing before I do it. And I just need y'all support. Just continue to watch the videos. Continue to share the videos. Like I said, if you can't watch the video, just uh, turn the videos on and just push play all. And uh, you can help me out that way. <laughs> you know, I'm not asking for no type of donation. But if you want to donate, that's on you. 
You know, like I said, I'm out here hustling money just like you guys. We doing this because we need the money, so I'm not asking for y'all to, to do anything crazy and whatnot, but get that money, you know. But guys, if you want me to shout anybody out, please make sure that you write in the comment. Uh, if you want to do a special message to somebody on YouTube, let me know. Uh, this is only for my family member. You have to be uh, uh, a family member. That means you have to be subscribed to the channel for me to do that. But um, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want me to do that, I have to charge you a fee. Now, if you subscribe to the channel, you get it for free. That's the benefit. You know what I mean? And what I mean by that, guys, if you want to send your girlfriend or your husband or your kids, if you want to send somebody a special message and you don't really know how to do it, let your boy do it. Let me put that kingfish spin on it. I could be serious sometimes. You know, I ain't crazy all the time. Just 99.98% of the time. I like having fun. I like making people laugh. All right, guys, so the tip for the day, man, is just make sure that you're working in a money zone. Um, give you an example. Sunday, I work, well, I used to work Temple Terrace, but ain't nothing open on Sunday in Temple Terrace, just quite a few places. So Temple Terrace is not an ideal place for me to work on Sunday if I want to make money. Now, especially if I'm using DoorDash. If I'm using Postmate, Uber Eats, then Temple Terrace is a great place because you got, they have more customers than DoorDash do that open on Sunday. But if I want to make that DoorDash money, I have to work either South Tampa or North Tampa because everything is downtown and open and uh, you know, you can make more money. So you got to know your zone. Know the market that you're working in. Uh, spend some time in your market. Go around the restaurants that have DoorDash on and see when they when are their busiest days. The days that they make the most money with DoorDash. Thank Big Rick just sent me a message. All right, Big Rick is at 44 so far. You got me beat, pal. I'm only at $22. I'm half of what you at. But I'm going all day, guys. I'm, I'm dashing till the wheels fall off. Uh, me and the wifey, we got a couple things we want to do. She mad at me right now, guys. She mad at me. See, I supposed to been getting the, well, I did get the tickets to the Whispers and the what you call it show, but I told her I, I didn't get it. The seats, um, they too far up. She don't like the nosebleeds, but I got the perfect seats. And they cost me a lot of money, but I got me the perfect seats. So I'm just gonna let it drag out, drag out. She was acting like a little baby. She was like, every time it's a good show, you always make excuse why we can't get tickets. I'm like, it is what it is, baby. You know. Maybe we'll go to the next one. That's what you always say. So I like doing that, guys. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to surprise them. Mama. You know, you got to get them mad and then you got to surprise them. You know? One thing I know for sure, she's not going to go up there and check behind me or get the tickets behind my back. So I don't have to worry about that. Oh, she pissed today. Put my hand on her leg, right? She knocked my hand off. I said, over some tickets? Really? She's like, you know I love the Manhattans. And you know I want to see Shirley. You know, we need to get out. You know. So today, I'm just going to keep her mad all day. You know. So she'll be all right till the Dallas game come on. I'm not going to let her know I got the tickets to February the 21st. The show is on the 22nd. I know I'm I, I know I'm mean. You can call me mean if you want to, family. But sometimes you gotta do things like that, guy. All it do is spark up the marriage. You know what I mean? So that day we're gonna I probably go live. Uh, if they allow me to record in the um, facility at Ying Ning um, Stadium, then I'm gonna bring y'all with me. We're gonna party. And let y'all see me do the, the two step. You know, I got that old man dance, guys. Right, left, left, right, right, left. Hands go up every now and then, side to side. Might pump the chest a little bit. <laughs> but that's it, guys. I stay in one spot. Now, if me and my wife, we might, we might do the hustle. I don't know if y'all know what the hustle is. 
but it's like line dancing a little bit. You know, you do the hustle and whatnot. Two hand, you know. We might do the hustle. If you know what the hustle is, y'all shout me out. Let me know if you know what the hustle is. That's a that's a dance that we used to call when two people dancing together. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of line dances now, but the hustle is just, you know, you're doing the hustle, you and your girl. I can't explain it. I can show you how to do it, but uh, I can't explain it, guys. I be laughing at the wife. She be jamming. I don't know what the hell she be doing. I be thinking she got a little blonde in there every now and then. No, no, no nothing. Uh, no disrespect to my Caucasian lady. You know what I mean? You know, sometimes y'all y'all got a, 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 a a funny dance. Sometimes y'all have an old beat dance. You know, not making fun of you nothing, but not saying that we know how to dance. But we try to dance in rhythm, if you know what I mean. But sometimes my wife she dance out of rhythm, and she thinks she doing something. I be laughing at her. I'm like, oop, you missed that beat. <laughs> but God, I'm gonna take y'all with me to the show. I hope y'all enjoy. If they allow me to record, if they allow me to record, God, then. I'm gonna go live for maybe about 15, 20 minutes. Shout out my family members and uh, let y'all experience what we're experiencing. You feel me? You feel me, Scott? I know you feel me. All right, guys, I don't have an order right now. Like I said, I already did three orders. I had the wife with me this morning. She normally don't go with me this early, but because I went to Wally World, she went on and, dang, man, that acorn tore my cup up. She went on and picked up some things so I don't have to go twice. She always looking out for her man. Let's see what Big Rick said. Last three Chick-fil-A. Oh, cancer. And I got 12. Okay. Damn. Big Rick doing his thing out there, guys. I ain't doing nothing right now, guys. But I'm talking to you guys. I'll be right back. Stop by the mailbox real quick. All right, family. So once again, the tip is for the day: make sure you know your zone, man. It's frustrating when you work in a zone and you don't make no money. What that do, System guys? System is checking the disc. Shut up, Please I ain't asking you to check no disc. Uh, it's frustrating when you when you're dashing and you're not making no money. You're not making no money because you're not set, setting yourself up to know your zone. You got to know your zone. Uh oh, we got an order. I think we got an order. What was that, Big Rick? Come on, Big Rick. You're making me think I got an order. All right, we don't have an order. That's Big Rick again. <laughs> all right, Big Rick still mad at me because I cursed him this morning on his Walmart order. But it's all good. All right, family. I'm going to get ready to go. Uh, I'm going to freshen up a little bit. Um, carrying all them groceries got me a little sweaty. And like I said, guys, your appearance, uh, your body, you want to keep that fresh. Because you never want to deliver food and they, you know, smelling all sweaty. I just can't stand this, the, the smell of sweat. You know that outdoor smell? So I might shower three or four times in one day because I don't like that smell. You know what I mean? But you know I'm lying, guys. You know us men don't shower three or four times. <laughs> we might wash up three or four times, but we ain't taking no three or four showers. <laughs> All right, family, this is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Peace, family. I love you. Make sure if you want some shirts, uh, hit me in the comments or send me an email at Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, at gmail.com. Uh, all I need is your shirt size. Once I have the shirt present, then I give you the cash app information. If you don't have cash app, um, then we'll do PayPal or whatever it is. All right, family, don't forget, support your boy. Talk to you later. Peace.